Proud Haddock celebrates on-earth stories from classical playwrights. It's been a hundred years since the end of the First World War, and we're kicking off a series of plays to commemorate this. So it's a First World War play set, uh, we begin in 1914, but then it's uh, typical of Tony Harrison's plays. It covers years before, the years during, the years after, and all of that. A lot of the typical war plays that people see are very much that classical all-male, observe the Sons of Ulster, Journey's End, it's it, 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 what is now a classic, you know, the, the soldiers in silhouette parading through the, the fields with guns. Um, and what Tony's done, which is what Tony always does, which is to make the familiar strange and to take something that we're familiar with and flip it on its head. So an all-female war play is a classic example of that. Fritz is really exciting to play, like incredibly complex and very human as well. It's, yeah, it's a really amazing to play someone who essentially is up there with Einstein, or could be, in that he kind of saved the world through nutrition, um, but is also responsible for chlorine gas, mustard gas, and then Zyklon B, which is ultimately used in the Holocaust camps. Um, and it's, it, he's such a paradox of a human being. We open it in a factory with six munitionettes, and um, they play men's roles. As well as taking on the roles of men, they play them as well. And so it's got to play inside a play field, very similar to the mechanicals in A Midsummer Night's Dream, and that's the kind of interpretation that we're going with. We've uh, tried to do things that are slightly odd, so you know, for uh, 2014 we did a play on the beginning of the war but did a German play which told it from the German point of view, and likewise with this, uh, with an all-female cast, we talk about poison gas and the machine gun and the technological um, advancements of the period, you know, which obviously has direct relevance to now weapons of mass destruction, Etc. Etc. It's, it's been really exciting and amazing. Like we've had such a like good, inventive and passionate kind of like group, um, and everyone keeps coming to the room with different ideas and things like that. We're incredibly excited about our current season at Crowd Haddock. We really look forward to seeing you there. Three words I would have to say would be um, bonkers, um, exciting, and moving.